All right. What do we got, Rick? We got oh. something here. <laughs> something glowing green. That's a caterpillar. It is a caterpillar. I don't know what type. I, uh, it is a geometrid. Yeah? Yeah, it's a little geometrid moth. Hmm. Caterpillar. Look at him, isn't he cute? That's so cool. Isn't he cute? Look at him, little inchworm. Oh. They like to hang from their little, their little thread here. And uh, let's see if I can get them to, to, stay in your... to stay on my finger here. Look at them. Oh, isn't he cute? That's <laughs> so cool. Yeah, it's probably a Samia, uh, what are they called? I'm forgetting my Latin name. It's been two years, guys, since I've really done much mothing down here. And uh, this guy's a, the little green geometrids, the little green ones that lay flat on the sheet. Oh, I know what yeah, you're talking that's about. that's him right there. So that's a large caterpillar. That's a, yeah, it's, he's probably full grown. Yeah. Very good, very good. Well, I'll put him back on his plant. Yeah, let's let him. Let him go. Back on his tamarind tree. There he goes. There, you go. there he goes. Ciao, homie. I heard a bunch of commotion. <laughs> Ricky, what do you have in the net there, buddy? Dude, I had, That's a big, something uh, flopping thing. around there. Something huge. That's a huge witch moth. You want me to record you get it? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's go in here. Woo, woo. Right there, right there, right there. Oh my gosh, she's huge. He, he is huge. Oh, he is. He's he, a he. Big boy, big boy. That's a big boy. Yes, he is. Well, let's see if we can get this guy. Hopefully, without damages that much. No. Yeah, I know how they are. Yep. They don't like to be touched. Uh-oh, <laughs> scary moment. Got him. Got him? Okay. Oh, it looks good. He's in great shape. Oh, my God. Here we go. All right. So, guys, Black Witch, Ascalafa odorata, the Black Witch. Mm -hmm. They're, Ricky, you know, um, here, let me see. So, guys, there's all kinds of legends Yep. Uh, around this moth. Ricky, you're from Cuba, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one. She didn't like, he, didn't, oh. he didn't like you to touch her. Oh, that's my. I, a bug just flew right down my windpipe. That witch moth. Oh. A witch moth got me. He sent it to you. <laughs> Dude, I think I'm seeing a butterfly. Okay, Ricky. Um, oh, look at that. That's how. Huh. Look at that. What is it? You see it? It's a butterfly. Oh, it's, a it's a sulfur. Which one? I don't know. Yeah, it's a sulfur. Right there. I see him. He's a little beat up. Hey. Let's see. It oh, is. Gosh. It is. The oh, large orange sulfur, guys. It's the large ones. Large orange sulfur. It's oh, large orange. Phoebus agarithi. It's a male. Somebody took a chunk. Yeah. Oh, he, oh yeah. Bird, a bird or a lizard or something like yeah. that had a field day with this guy. Somebody wanted to eat him. Somebody wanted to eat him. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and let him. Yeah, let's put it back. Let's put him back. Oh, oh. there he goes. Oh. It's gone. Well, well now, he wants really. to, now he wants to be around my light. So cool, huh? <laughs> okay. The Ricky. Yeah. About the... About the... Um, really? <laughs> There you go. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah, here he goes. Oh, oh bro, come on. Your... <laughs> come on, man. Right. <laughs> look at that. That thing's in your head. Come on. Yeah. It's gone now, I believe. Black witch. Dude, the, the black, black witch. witch. Okay, Ricky, tell me about the black witch moth, the legends from your the island of Cuba. What, what do you well, hear about this guy? Cuba, what I believe, when people, when people, when they got to, when they go to your house, they said that people will visit your house i don't know oh that's true or not well that's a nice legend yeah compared to, what not, it, compared to what you know is the difference so i know black witch is yeah something in bad. central america bruja negra mm -hmm. it's called the bruja negra black witch uh the legend is in central america that if one of these flies into your house because a lot of central american houses they don't have air conditioning of course so they have these little openings where air passes through and the black witch, they love hanging out and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So they say when one of these comes in your house that there's going to be a death in the family. Wow. So the black witch, I don't know about a death in our family, but. You know. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Those my God. That is it. not COVID, y'all. <laughs> a bug flew down my freaking throat. Um, and, yeah, I was looking for caterpillar thing. I saw that. Ugh. 
huge thing flying. I said, get that, get that <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay? Well, guys, yes, yeah, so I'm okay. I'm just trying to breathe. Uh, Black Witch, guys, pretty cool moth. So cool on moth in moth week that we get to show you a super cool moth like that. Uh, oh, let me show you the difference between the male and female here. Let me put this light on. Oops. Okay. The males, or the females, have a big Bang. clear band that comes down here through the middle, mm -hmm. and, the, and the males don't. So the males are just black, but when they're fresh like this one, you see like there's a purple iridescent sheen. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice fresh specimen, so uh, pretty cool. Mr. Witch, thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, well, Rick, we think we see our first caterpillar uh, i have no idea what that is a <laughs> black witch moth <laughs> here i got the light for you okay. so cool he got so confused with his uh... <laughs> can see much. I think it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Wait, right wait, there. Wait, 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 wait. Got him. <laughs> Got him. Black witch. There <laughs> Cool moth, man. So the, he he doesn't have really. Oh, he kind of glows a little bit. Yeah. Does it's, the black witch glow? Oh, look at the the abdominal segments. Oh yeah, it does. The abdom abdominal segments light up. Yes, they do. Cool. It does. So cool. Beautiful, man. Let's go that's see gorgeous. the caterpillar. Yeah, yeah. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely. We definitely got our first caterpillar up here, guys. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, yep, yeah. so here, grab the light, grab the light, okay, and then what I'll do is I will bend the tree, bend the tree down. But I don't know where it is anymore. Oh, wait, find him, find him first. Yeah, I lost it. Huh. Oh, I'll be there. I see you it. see him? Yeah, a little bit more. I oh, got it. <sighs> I think it's an aloe. All right. No, it's not Ellis. Let's see. It's a pink moth, but I don't, know, I don't know which one. Let's see, guys. That's not poison uh, wood? Uh, it's not poison wood. Come on. What is that? Guys, I really it's don't. An, it's an Ellis. It's probably Ello. Yeah, I see the, the Yeah, the Ello, the Ello's got the little Cyclops thing eye spot on the top. But you can see how they, they just light up green. Well, uh, and and Ellos, that size, it shouldn't have the horn, right? No, the, the smaller instars have the horn. That's why the horn it still has yep, a horn. He's still he's still on a he's still got another instar to go. Oh, okay. Look at the blue butterfly that just landed on me. <laughs> look at this! Look at this butterfly! Look at the yep. They weren't maybe. So, the... guys, um, see how they glow? They do glow. So cool. They man. do glow, and that was he was way up there, and we found him really really easy with the UV light. Look how he just lights up. He's got like a two-tone purple and purple and green. Okay, so what do you think? We should probably let him go, huh? He's a little bit small. What do you think? I don't know. If you do you think we would? Uh, I don't have this plant. The one that I have. What is it called? The um, the Christmas plants. I forgot. Poinsettia. Poinsettia. I don't know if they switch. Hmm. Look how cool he is. He's got the little cyclops eye on his upper yeah. thorax. Let's do it. And what we can do is I can take another snip. Where's that tree? Okay. Yeah, okay, Sphinx moth caterpillar number one in the pot. Hello, Sphinx. I believe. I believe. <laughs> I believe. You never know. <laughs> All right. So. It's a big tree. Yeah. This is a nice mature hammock here, guys. All right. I'm going to turn my headlamp back off so we can, we can see what we're doing here with the with the uv 
the ground. Okay. Down there. The place. Down, down there. I can see, see it. Yes, yeah, sure did. Oh, yeah. You see? It's right there. See, kind of buzzing? Yeah. What do you got? I don't see any more. You can hear him. Yeah, he's there. Oh, there he is. Oh, she. She. What are you doing? Oh, right there. Aloe Sphinx, guys. Female aloe. She's sitting in a big thing of her host plant. Yeah. Like this, this guy's, this poinsettia stuff. This is poinsettia? This is all native poinsettia. This is what they'd be laying eggs on. I mean, they're, they're polyphagous, which means that they'll eat a whole bunch of different things. But this plant right here is what you would expect to find an Ella Sphinx caterpillar. Yes. I mean, come on. Well, when we got here, one was laying eggs over there. One was laying eggs, yep. And this one was doing the same. Yep. I'm pretty sure. Yep, she's she's poking around, probably probably trying to lay eggs. I would have bet, like, we're not finding a whole lot of caterpillar or caterpillars here, but I bet if we come back in August, oh yeah, it'll probably be loaded because that's just known to be the Sphinx moth month. Oh, Cassius Blue flying around. Looking for Cassius Blues at night. Here, I'll turn that off yeah, so you can see. Yeah, I was going to ask you to turn off that off. Yep. See if I can find that. Let's find us a... Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Come on, man. They're out. Here, check this bush here, buddy. Right there. You see one? I see a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff? No, that's a... Oh, Look at yeah, this. Look yeah, yeah. on top, on top. Oh, you know what they are? No. They're, um... This is Florida Trema. This is, um... Cool guys. All right, so we're gonna collect some of them. these. Yeah, these are the um, tussock moths. The tussock, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let me see. These guys jump, so we have to be careful. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. I collected those before. Oh yeah. Well, actually. All right, guys. Yeah, that one, yeah. So we have here. Uh, this is Halicidota. Halicidota, I believe this is syncopes. And it would be cool to probably try and get some of those guys and do some life cycle work. Yep. You ready? You want to try and get a few? All right, guys, I just wanted to show you the tussock moth caterpillar. This is Halicidota syncopes final instar. They've got this cool little like Indian headdress going thing going on by their head. They are super cool. Uh, we've got some earlier instar caterpillars here. You did, Ricky found something. Guys, I just wanted to show these to you. This is an Arteid moth. I'm gonna show you this life cycle here, guys, and I'm gonna dump these in. And we're gonna go over and see. We're gonna go, guys, we're gonna go see what Ricky found. Cocoon. Oh, you know what that is? No. Oh, yeah. So, okay, Ricky, show us what you found, buddy. This right here. All right. And glows. It so glows cool. in the dark. Oh. Guys, it's a glow in the dark cocoon. Cocoon or a chrysalis. A chrysalis, chrysalis. Yeah, not, not Guys, a cocoon. Guys, this is Polygonia Leo, the hammock skipper. Oh, really? I that's it. Yeah, that's bro. That's awesome. a hammock skipper. Hammock skipper butterfly. The, even the chrysalis glow, guys. That's awesome. So black lighting is cool. You can find stuff really easy. Because that thing, show them how it lights up. Oh, my God. Just, just from, like from, uh, from a mile away. From a mile away. Look at this. You can see real clear how that thing lights up green. <laughs> I thought it was like a caterpillar and then. Yeah. Like, oh, Excellent. Well. <laughs> oh, what, what you got? I don't know. Uh, uh, butterfly. <laughs> oh, it's gone. Oh, he's gone. He flew. But Cassie's I, blue. I went to crash my... The mosquitoes are getting yeah, mosquitoes bad. Mosquitoes are getting bad, yeah. They're getting bad. We get into this, like, like dense understory here. Let me show you what this looks like in here, guys. Yep. This is where we're going. Oh, look at the witch moth right in front of you. Where? Look at this, guy. Look at this. Where, where, where? Right here. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's a big male, right? It is yeah, a... Yeah, a male. A male. Look at that guy. Wow. <laughs> I 
I was looking for something flying. I... Okay, Ricky thinks he sees some caterpillars here, guys. Uh, no. No? No, bro. They're just dead leaves? Dead leaves. Dead leaves that glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy. It's not cool. Not at all. Big old gumbo limbo. Big old poison wood. So if we were gonna see a uh, Protambulux larva, it would be in this tree right here. Where? The one right above you. Oh. See if you see any green, glowing green stuff up there. It's no. a poison wood, no? Oh, no. Oh. They, you see one? Oh, no, no, no. It's a dead leaf. Yeah, the poison wood, the, the Protambulux light up, man, like Christmas. Like Christmas. Yeah, they're bright. If they're out, I mean, they're really easy to you find. See. Yeah. People think we're crazy, Ricky. I know. They're coming out here in the middle of the night, uh, middle of the woods. I believe you. With uh, nothing but some black lights and oh, <laughs> nothing to protect ourselves but a butterfly net. <laughs> I know I have friends that would they would not not they would not appreciate not this. this. No. Trust me. Not a, not a whole lot of caterpillars here, guys. Not really. Uh, we're finding a few things. We're finding some black witch moths are all over the place, which is kind of cool. We're seeing some Ello Sphinx flying around. We saw one Ello Sphinx caterpillar, but um, not a whole lot else. Well, Ricky, you find something? Yep. What we got? I, it didn't really light up. Oh, that is an interesting bug right there, dude. That's a large color. Oh, yeah. What have we got here, guys? You want to use your lights? Yeah, let me it see. Has better, it will show better the colors. So yeah, better. well, let's see. Oh, I think that thing died. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. So that make it really he's eating dangerous. tamarind, which is in my yard. Oh, let's take it. Oh, oh he's coming home. Yep. He is coming home. Uh, did you? We didn't bring a Tupperware this time, did we? No, let's put it inside the net. Put it in the net. Yeah, I want to see if I can find any more. Oh, did he drop? Did he drop? What the heck? Yeah, some of those things jump. But I don't see it here. No way. No, he's not here. Where'd it go? This was the stem he was on. Yeah, he jumped. He jumped. Dude. Okay, hold on, hold on. Magic one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my look? He's a walking one. I get it? All right, guys, I found him. We got him. Uh, they're eating the flowers of the tamarind bush, t t tamarind tree. So, uh, guys, we actually found a couple of these guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring them home and I'm going to raise them because I've got tamarind in my yard. And it's it's a noctuid of some kind. Uh, I Unfortunately, I didn't bring a Tupperware with me on this little walk. So I'm just going to use my net and hopefully, hopefully he'll stay. Just sink down to the bottom there, buddy. Yeah. All right, Loret, Ricky, what do we got here, bud? Look what we got, brother. Oh, sookie, sookie. Look beauty. at the beauty. Protambulux larva, guys, on poison wood. Now, the question is, how does one harvest a... Because if you go snapping that stem, he's going to give us sap and cause us very extreme discomfort. I have a... I, I do have a... Um, I do have a rag, which we can use... 
He's like second, third star. Oh, uh, he's he's probably beginning a final. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's ready to go, man. Yes, you yes, me, yes. Give me the, the phone. We're good, dude. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna take guys with my rag. One little stem. Not so bad. Put them in my net. Have them go hang out. Here, flashlight in there. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, he's in there. He's down there. Yeah, he's down there, hanging out with his uh, his, friends. his little buddies down there. So, good job, Rick. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. We've got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, baby. Let's go. Oh man. Well, I'm glad we finally found one. Uh, we so now we've got. An Elo Sphinx, we've got a Pretambulux, Stragilus, Streak Sphinx, Caterpillar, and whatever these things are that we found on the Tamarind. So, good job, man. Well, good. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for our moth collecting uh, for the evening. The sun is starting to come up. There's the moon. You can actually see the little crescent moon up there uh, in the in the skyline. The new moon is going to be in four days, so uh, we're going to be wrapping this up. But we are able to find Pertambulix carteri larva. We were able to find a um, Elosphinx larva. We're able to find some of these um, tussock moth caterpillars. And we've got some mystery noctuid moth larvae that feeding on wild tamarind that I can't wait to raise out and see what they emerge into because we're going to document those life cycles and bring them to you uh guys we have we still haven't collected our light traps yet so we're going to have that video coming for you soon you guys we're having a great time moth week south florida um having a great time it's a little buggy once the sun starts to come out the deer flies start to erupt and the, mos the salt marsh mosquitoes down here in the florida keys just they just go crazy so um i'm gonna put this down in my truck we're going to start setting up, packing up our stuff, and we are going to head for um, safe grounds so we don't get eaten alive by bugs. So, guys, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Thanks for, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Bye now.